What's up guys and welcome back to the Bartender Hideout. Um, today we are here for episode number 28 if you've been counting along with us. Um, today we will be having a look at the Gin Fizz which is actually one that's not as familiar to me. Like we're at the stage now where some of these ones are, uh, yeah, are a little bit new to me as well. So I'm uh, curious to see what I make out of it. As you guys know, we are looking at the uh, top 50 most popular drinks of 2020 according to Drinks International. Um, we've been following along with this list for quite a while now, so you, I'm sure you're uh, familiar with it. Um, one other thing I'm sure you're familiar with by now is Uncle Bob. He'll obviously be showing up in a little bit and taking over from me. Afterwards, I'll be making the drink for you guys and showing you how it's done. And then obviously have a little sip and see what it's like. Uh, to tell you if you should try it at home or not. But for now, I think it's time uh, to throw you over to Uncle Bob. Ah, welcome back to story time with Uncle Bob. Today we will be having a little chat about the gin fizz, or maybe fizzes in general, since it's more of like a speciality branch of cocktails actually introduced by Jerry Thomas in his 1876 book, The Bartender's Guide. He was referring to it as a variant on the Sour Family, which, I mean, it makes, makes kind of sense. Um, the Gin Fizz became most popular back in the early 1900s, uh, especially around New Orleans, where it immediately became a speciality of the city which they do have so much right now, and a lot of legacy back in, uh, back in New Orleans. For whoever knows his cocktails a little bit, you might think of the close relations it has to the Tom Collins. I mean, you're right, it uses the same exact ingredients, but there is some basic differences. Like, you shake it a lot longer to make sure it's nice and fizzy and you wouldn't serve it over ice normally. There is also a bunch of different variants of the gin fizz. So you have the silver fizz or the gold fizz, which uses parts of the egg. So for the silver fizz, you would use egg white. And for the gold fizz, you would use the egg yolk. And then there's some more uh, popular variants or more famous variants, I guess. Something like the French 75 which I actually, I think I told you about a couple of weeks ago. So you know all about that now. And if you don't, why aren't you checking out more videos? And probably the most popular gin fizz there is out there is the Ramos gin fizz, which actually requires some shaking time of 12 minutes. Back in the day, they had some boy, poor boys shaking in the background just to make sure the bartenders could continue on with their work. You know who doesn't have a shaker in the background? Cool. Let's go and find out how he makes this gin fizz. Welcome back from Uncle Bob, guys. Um, we are here ready to make this gin fizz. So what we're gonna need is we're gonna need a glass and we're gonna need a shaker and those are probably the most important things that we're gonna need for this cocktail actually no it's gonna be the gin obviously so we have a Heyman's Old Tom gin which is actually an, one of the one of the gins that they created with the old recipes in mind so it's been released in 2008 little fun fact um, but this is one that is supposed to be quite nice to go in this uh, gin fizz. So we'll be adding 45 milliliters to our shaker tin or an ounce and a half, however what suits you or works for you. Then I have my freshly squeezed lemon juice. We're gonna add one ounce of that also to our shaker tin. And then before we start shaking, we are gonna add some sugar syrup and that will be half an ounce or actually maybe a little little bit less just to make sure that we got that sweetness in the drink 
Um, and now the most important part is we're gonna shake this and it's gonna be a little bit different because with a fizz obviously we wanna shake it up a little bit more, shake it a little bit more vigorously uh, just to make sure that we get that nice little fizziness and we don't end up with a, with a Tom Collins in a way. Um, so that's the main thing. So let's give it a good and sturdy shake. So we're aiming for about a minute here, so I'm not gonna let you sit through that. Uh, I'll speed it up for you a little bit. One eternity later. <laughs> okay, so all done shaking, my arm is hurting. Um, we're ready to, to pour this out in our glass. Um, we won't be adding any ice, because we just want that fizziness to really take over a little bit. Um, so that's why. This goes straight into the glass. And then we add our soda water or our sparkling water straight to the glass as well. There go. And then once we have done that, we obviously need a nice little garnish there. So let's grab back to our trusty old dehydrated lemons and add that to our glass it's obviously it's gonna sink a little bit it has no ice to hold it up um, but obviously you can use a lime wedge you can use a lemon wheel or a, sorry a lemon wheel uh, or a lemon wedge whatever you have handy they all work as long as uh, you make the drink look nice I guess right so there you go guys that's our gin fizz okay let's see what this is like I mean, it is what it says that it uh, that it does. It's a, definitely a gin fizz. Um, I didn't realize the difference was so big with, let's say, a normal Tom Collins, because obviously the ingredients are, are similar, or pretty much the same, actually. Um, but this one, especially served um, without ice, it just really brings out that fizziness, which is, yeah, as I said, pretty interesting. It's nice and fresh, perfect for, like, on a summer day, uh, when you're sitting on a terrace, having a li nice little sip, um, yeah, that's actually a actually quite nice. Uh, I didn't I didn't really expect that, so that's uh, it's good to see that uh, that even some cocktails can surprise me as well. I guess right, um, but yeah, I think that's uh, that's all I'm gonna uh, give you guys for uh, for this week. I'm gonna uh, see you guys again next week hopefully um, if you like what we're doing make sure to like and subscribe to the channel and also make sure to tune in next week leave a comment what you think about the gin fizz or if you uh, have any other recommendations or recipes for this uh, great cocktail uh, but for now i'm gonna leave you to it guys and i'll see you guys next week ciao